Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping in for yet another little unboxing and this time I'm sharing some new products that I just got from Ulta. So I just swung in the other day because I was kind of like, hey, like I just want to kind of peruse. I wasn't really looking to buy anything. There was no makeup or hair products that I actually like needed to restock. So it was kind of random because I usually never have time to just do that. But I was like, I'm going to swing in there and just kind of browse around. I'll show you the finds that I ended up getting on this recent shopping trip. It's not a whole bunch, but you know, I thought any little thing might be fun to share with you. But before I get into that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I bring you lots of these different beauty, fitness, and style, like different unboxing and hauls. So make sure to subscribe and stay in tune by hitting the bell. That way you never miss anything that I bring to you. First up is just a new foundation that I wanted to try. I kind of usually don't ever buy drugstore brands as far as that to use on my face like I know that probably sounds really snooty and snobby but and I know there's plenty of good products out there don't get me wrong like especially when it comes to like my base but but I am trying a new foundation out for you and this one is from L'Oreal it is the infallible foundation it is 24 hour fresh wear and I'm not gonna lie like I'm kind of enjoying this. I used it today and that's what I have on my face currently. And I just kind of wanted to find a foundation, especially because I go through so much foundation with my jobs as far as like performing on stage. I'm always looking for like full coverage and I need to reapply throughout the day, especially like if I'm sweating from dancing. So I go through foundation like crazy. So that's why I was kind of like leaning towards maybe finding a different brand that isn't $30 a pop. This one was only like $14.99, half the price. I've only used this a couple times, but as far as the shade, I think it matches well. I'm wearing this in the shade Rose Ivory. <laughs> I'm sold. Number 415. That's another reason why I think I always shy away from drugstore brand foundations because it's always so hard to find the right shade. So luckily I had a really sweet girl at Ulta and she just kind of like was walking through it all with me because actually I was looking at a Revlon one that one of my coworkers uses, but I was kind of like, I didn't know what shade, and she said that this one would be a lot better, especially for my skin type. I'm kind of like a normal skin type. I'll get like dry around through my nose region and like inner eyes, especially during these colder weather months, but as long as I keep up on my hydration, like I'm usually pretty fine, thank goodness. She was saying that this would be like a matte coverage, but it's not a matte like consistency so it's not going to dry out my skin and so far so good so if you're in the market for like a cheaper foundation i definitely would recommend this l'oreal one you can get it at ulta avi you can probably find this at like anywhere they have l'oreal target walgreens cvs anything like that the shade that i wear at mac is usually at nw20 in the summer it's like 25 if that helps you like kind of figure out your shades what to go to but yeah this actually matches me really well even though this looks super white in the bottle it comes out darker another little something that i've been wanting to test out and i keep forgetting when i'm at target or the drugstore to buy it was actually this l'oreal like mash l'oreal lash primer yes is this l'oreal lash primer Whew. Third time's a charm. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Base, and I've heard lots of good things about this. To be honest, I usually am never doing like a base as far as like that before I put on mascara. I usually put on my fake lashes, which I am not wearing right now. There's no falsies on this face. I usually put on my fake lashes. I'll put on my mascara so like my real lashes kind of like, you know, blend into the fake. And that's all I do. Honestly, I wanted to try this stuff out because I've heard lots of good things about it. And the people that I have seen use it, their lashes look awesome. Maybe on a day where I don't really want to put some falsies on, this might come in handy. I have this on today, right now. The mascara that I'm using today is the Hourglass Mascara. But yeah, I just feel like it kind of 
added a little more density, like it kind of coated my lash by itself, so then when I put on the black mascara, it made it look a little more full and more voluminous. Exactly what it says. The color of it is just this light pale pink, so you can actually see it being applied to your lash. After it dried, I applied my black mascara and I think they looked really nice. I found this fun little highlight slash glitter palette from Stila and again I was just kind of perusing and I was looking at some Anastasia like glow sets and I was like I really don't need any more highlights. If you knew the amount of highlights that I have you'd be like, Laura, why are you even looking at these? I thought this one in particular was super pretty and I'm always wearing glitter if it's not necessarily my everyday like outside of work life. At work, I usually have glitter on my face. It's like a powder glitter substance. Okay, and I know this is gonna be difficult for you to see with my ring light. It's kind of just making them all look like this one white shade, but I promise you that there is a slight difference to each one of these. It's just this soft little kind of like white glistening powder, and honestly, it has like this pinky like rose undertone here. This is more of just like your gold glitter, and then this is more of like a blue silver. And I'll swap them all for you, but I just thought they were so nice, and honestly, what sold me on them is because it's just kind of like a powder glitter versus like the Stila ones, they have like the gel glitter, and I love those too. They're beautiful, but sometimes I'm just like, I don't want it to feel that thick or like caked onto my face, so this is just like a nice little brush of glitter. I feel like this is gonna be so nice to use. Hopefully this swatch of what I'm showing you is a lot better than what I was trying to with my ring light. You can actually kind of see them right there as I shimmer my hand back and forth. The first one right here is like that silver, you can tell like the silver blue undertone, and then you have the gold in the middle, and then like that blushy rose gold um, glitter tone and it like blends honestly right into my skin. I think just having them, you know, spackled on your shoulders or on your like decolletage, like your little collarbone, like that area, I think these will just look oh so pretty. Like, I just love them. Okay, and lastly, I have one more thing that I actually had been wanting for a while to test out and I completely forgot when I walked into the store until I was at the checkout and they had them right up there to buy. And it's this Sugar Bear Hair little vitamin. So I don't know if this is just a cute little gimmick, but they won me over because this is so cute, this bottle in this blue, and it's like their little teddy bear gummies in here. They didn't have the pink one, and I think the pink is just like your overall health type of vitamin that you take, and this blue one is specifically for like your hair and nails. I've been wanting to test them out. I'm gonna give this a shot to see because it's like, it could just be one of those things where it looks super cute and the packaging won me over and they suck, or they could be really awesome, and so, I'll let you know, but it's the Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. It's basically biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C. And I think you take, yeah, you take two per day. I haven't tried these out yet. They're still sealed up. So I will keep you posted, but I was really excited to try these. And again, I just think they're so cute. All right, friends, and that is all that I found in my recent shopping trip to Ulta. I hope you enjoyed these finds. Again, I'm sorry that it was really hard for me to show you the swatches of the glitter, but I promise you, they're beautiful. If you liked what I shared with you in this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's always so greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Until next time, I will see you all then. Bye, friends.